sense of the last eight years for you, Radhika, were quite, I mean, you worked, you put in so much work. I mean, you did what, 40 films and lots of streaming. I mean, there's a lot of work that was packed in. Did you get a moment to even think sometimes between uh, movies, between auditions? And are you therefore, that's why I'm much more relaxed and calm now? I think so. I think so. I mean, um, I really wanted to be an actor. I yeah. really did. I still do. I love acting. It is, mm. I, I absolutely adore it. I hate the recognition, like I hate being recognized on street. I hate having to do PR interviews. I hate, like, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like the other things that come with it um, as much. Because, and I'm, I'm saying this because some people love it. Some people love stardom. Uh, and I, I like it when it is convenient for me, when I get free things. Uh, but uh, like, uh, what are the free things that you've got, Radhika? Dresses, dresses, cosmetics, uh, lots of nice cakes and like food things and like you know I like, anything free. I'm very happy. You're yeah. just a giant baby, not so giant, but a right. baby. You know, people will admit it, but everybody loves free stuff. Okay, no matter how much money they earn. Uh, if somebody's giving free things, I'm very excited. Um, but don't you have to return the dresses, Radhika? Uh, no, but they get something out of it. No, if I post it, right. me, then they get something out of it. So, um, no, no, I'm just, that was a joke. Uh, what I meant was that I, I don't really love the stardom part of it at all. Um, I do like my job. But the truth is that, and I have been very grateful. Uh, I am grateful for being so, like, getting so much work I've done so much work and all of yeah. that but but it still you know comes to a point where you feel like okay uh, still the this one project that is happening that you know I really want to do I don't get it why because I'm uh, for, for reasons that are not like not um, to, nothing to do with acting you know um, and uh, I do feel that in our in India um, I'm not generalizing it. I'm just saying a little over average, at least, uh, uh, more than uh, this thing. Um, we don't compromise on other technicians. We have great technicians. Yeah. The acting department, we always compromise on. Right. You know? Because you will take a better cinematographer than the other, but you won't take a better actor than the other. Right. You would take the bigger star than the other. Right. You know, and it has nothing to do with performance. Um, so it's a bit frustrating that you are trying to do all these other things yeah. uh, to get parts, like get more famous, get another brand, get another, get seen, be seen outside restaurants or wear great clothes outside airports, you know, rather than do more workshopping, go learn something, get better at your skill. Uh, you know, you're just doing these other things because they are, they matter uh, more about whether you're going to get a job or not, whether a, whether a cinematographer will uh, watch more films and learn, like get his techniques to be better. So it's a bit frustrating uh, to do, be doing that. And then, you know, you're fighting and you're struggling with com competing with people who are younger or with like whatever surgeries on them or who socialize a bit more or in the right circles, you know, for projects that you don't even really want to do. Right. <laughs> So, I mean, I'm just talking by and large. Yeah. And so the small ones that you do want to do, you just don't get it anyway. So I'm just, um, this lockdown made me wonder whether, what, do we, what is it that I really want to do? I think a career change is not a bad idea. No, I mean, you could always write more and you could always direct rather than always being in, being the actor or the star. No, I want like acting. <laughs> I really enjoy it. So what career change would you like? Maybe like start a, start a restaurant or, uh -huh. um, I don't know. You're a good cook, right? I'm a very good cook, yeah. Yeah? What do you, what do you make normally? Like you, anything or mm, you bake a lot or? I bake a lot. Like today I'm making uh, grilled squids. Wow. Grilled squid and uh, grilled tiger prawns with uh, spring greens. Um, fancy. It's not really fancy. It's like. It looks, it sounds nice. It sounds nice, but we have a great fishmonger. Okay. Yeah. 
which yeah. part of London do you live in without giving too much away? Don't ask because oh, I you will be, be everywhere on the streets here. Yeah. Yeah. I just because I because of the lockdown, everybody knows who's in the area. Right. People don't have the time. Yeah. Mm. And now I, I go running and people are screaming, Radhika, Radhika, I'm like, who's running? Or do you expect I stop running and now like come and say hello to you? <laughs> Um, I appreciate that, that but they, people, like, it just, it just, I can't deal with it. So I don't want to tell anybody where I live. Li- yeah, you'll possibly be stalked while you're running. So no, anything it's is... Happened, it's been happening and it never happened before. <laughs> I think people are watching too much of Netflix. <laughs> mm-hmm. But seriously, I was watching that lovely uh, little um, interview mm-hmm. you did with Netflix on uh, in New York where uh, they're talking to you and uh, they're asking you when are you going to be back on Netflix and you say but you have to call me so seriously are they calling you I'm sure they are there must be lots of work that you're being offered no you're just not telling us no actually no no Netflix hasn't called me for anyone what about the streaming series what anything exciting that's come to you um streaming series oh yeah i did a really good i mean i don't i shouldn't say great because i haven't seen it but the, i think one of the best experiences i've had shooting one of the best um the title is not confirmed yet uh it's for hot star okay and it's this uh series with vijay verma so it's me and vijay and oh. a wonderful actress called kani and um it's about it's a futuristic uh, mockumentary series. Right. It's a comedy murder mystery uh, with robots and AI and us, and it's so <laughs> good. It's ridiculous. It's so funny. And Did we you have got that. Yeah, yeah, we finished shooting this year. Oh, lovely. Uh, so we had a great time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they are editing now, and next year I'll start shooting for Shantaram. Oh, wow. Who is doing Meera. it finally? I also. Oh, no, 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 not Meera. Um, I don't think you know. remember Meera and I were supposed to do it and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 then Apple bought it. I mean, I know Apple has it. Apple's making it. Um, but exactly who's doing it, I don't know. Um, they're just re- reworking everything. So, I don't know, actually. I've been completely out of touch with everything in the last two months. Um, so, we're going to see you back. Uh, were you, did you audition for Suitable Boy? Or did yeah. you want to? Oh, yeah, I did. I did. I got rejected there also. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I did. I did. But, but um, Shahana got the part and I'm very happy she did because right. she's incredible. Right. And she's, as you said, she's in your movie. Isn't Absolutely. It? The, oh my God. She was shooting a suitable boy where Lydia is the producer. Yeah. And I said, please, I, 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 I knew Shahana and Gulshan. And I was like, I am not casting anybody else. Right. And um, they had a problem on the set in suitable boy. And their schedule changed two days before my shoot. And I found out that, no, not two days, four days before my shoot. And I found out that Shahana won't be able to come anymore. Oh, and I, I got the panic and um, because we were already on the location, I had to go on the location. And Where then, was that? Where was the location? In, in Maharashtra only. Okay. And uh, I, I remember Shahana and my whole crew was like, what are we going to do? Who's the yeah. actor? Yeah. And we didn't have an actress. Oh. And me and Shahana were like, something is going to happen and she's going to come. <laughs> It's just wishful thinking. I mean, producers really get horrified with the story. Yeah. But, and then she came. And Lydia, Lydia made it happen. And okay. she said, it's just that I'll send her for one day less. So um, I spoke to the crew and I requested them and they agreed. And we did a 24-hour shift. Wow. Terrible. So how long did it take you to shoot that film? Four days. Four days. And then one day in Bombay. Did you enjoy that process? Absolutely. Being in control? Loved it. I yeah. was shooting bricks, but I loved it. So basically, you need to be in a situation where you're controlling the narrative. No, I like to surrender as an actor, completely surrender uh, right. and work as well. Um, so I like both. But it has to be worth your while. I mean, the director yeah. has to be someone who... I respect. Who, yeah, yeah, right. Have you been on sets where uh, you don't necessarily respect the director? Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm not going to ask you who uh, that film. I've also been on sets where I really respect the directors. Like really, like I'll fully devotedly, I could be devoted to them. Right. Like Anurag and Anurag Basu and uh, Shri Ram and um, just name it like Balki or uh, so many of them. Actually, I'm going to forget names. Hmm. Uh, Lina and Harshvardhan and I am forgetting names, isn't it? But there are too many. Right. So you've got uh, this hot star series that uh, you talked about with Vijay Varma. Again, a very fine actor who's finally, I think, getting so his due. Oh, good. Yeah. He's so good in this series. Oh, my God. Isn't it amazing? You have actors like Vijay, Jaydi Palavat, Vineet Kumar. Finally, the world seems to be discovering how good That's they are. Said. That's what I said. Because we always compromise on that one department. Exactly. And it doesn't matter whether you're an actor or not. Right. And and when you see their work, then you realize what a difference it makes, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. But th that's what my point is. If you have good actors, yeah. you, you can make better work. Yeah. <laughs> Who is going to make Bollywood understand that? Very tough. Um, um, but uh, but uh, so you're in that, then you're in Shantaram, which begins what? This year or next, next year? year? Next, next year. year. So, what I've done a film called uh, Raat Akeli Hai with Hani Trehan. Um, and Nawaz, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That might come out this year, I think. Is that, was that interesting? Being back, yeah, uh, yeah. working yeah, with yeah. Nawaz again? Yes, um, uh, working with Hani was also great. Hmm. Uh, it was his debut film. and He's uh, usually a casting director, isn't he? Yeah, uh, but that's because of that or whatever it is. But he's so nuanced i mean um i used to think i overthink clearly i was wrong uh, <laughs> about you know understanding why somebody's saying this between the lines history geography of the character honey the research he'd done then he knew everything he'd always give me something about every single line which i would have never thought of hmm. um he's so good with actors i think so you enjoyed working uh, on that movie yes is it is it a, what kind of movie is it can you it's talk about it's a it's a new, like a very yeah it's a genre genre driven right and again we come to nawaz again a guy who the world has suddenly discovered again because if you cast good actors then yeah. you, you know and the question of payment if you pay pe if you pay peanuts then you do get monkeys as they say with no offense we are to monkeys oh but no they pay, pay a lot of money for stars yeah, but they don't necessarily pay the same amount across gender. No, they don't. So you have to live with it? Yeah. And I try wherever I can uh -huh. uh, to push for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, mostly I suck it up. <laughs> uh, because I feel that you can't change the system from this step. You have to climb and climb and climb and climb. And if you ha start getting power then you um, change it. Like if I tomorrow make a film, oh boy, everybody will be paid the same amount of money. As in, there'll be a prop, there'll be a, there'll be, I, I would not like, see the thing is I do understand, and I've said this before, I do understand why a Salman Khan or a Akshay Kumar will get more pay, paid more than me, suppose if I'm with them. They bring all the money. Of right. course they will get paid more. That's not my point. My point is when, uh, if you have me in the film or whoever, and if you have my parents, so there's a female and a male actor, they have the same number of days and whatever, and they are not going to, to change your box office collection, but still the man will get uh, paid more than the woman. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. the discrepancy that, like, is there and you can't really justify it by saying yeah. that, oh, the box office. Yeah. And that's, uh, as you said, it can be frustrating. So as an actor, you have to practice a lot of deep breathing, no? Oh, trust me, the <laughs> amount of work I've done for which I have not been paid at all. Really? Oh, of course. Like in India, if you get, like, you can't get your payment. You have to beg. You have to remind them. You have to follow up. For your, own, for your own money. For your own money. Because um, it's like, it's like, if you, like, like, oh shit, is that okay if you pay me? You know, is that sort of a thing? 
uh, my god and oh god uh, and now because of coronavirus everybody is like oh we can't. oh we're so broken you know because, you know and but i did the job in jan and you were supposed to pay me in jan oh yeah but you know what happened to coronavirus you know listening to you is making me angry i don't know what it makes you <laughs> I don't know. It's but this is with everybody, not with actors. I think it's everybody. So many people constantly waiting. I don't understand. Pay people on time, yeah. I mean, it's not even. It, that's the, the when I did two uh, foreign films. The one thing I realized, the two things I realized. Right. Three things I realized actually. One is that payments just came. I didn't have right. to ask for it. You didn't ever have to ask anyone. Never. Uh, and if they were late by a day, they would apologize. Hmm. Um, then uh, people came on time. uh on set we broke for everything on time we ended the day on time um and third thing was everybody actually knew the script <laughs> uh, in india it's like um um everybody's asking each other what happened after this and what what has happened before this thing uh but everybody's done their research they know exactly what's going to happen i mean again i'm not describing all indian sets yeah i know some production houses where very meticulous um i'm very particular about that so i'm yet to work with that <laughs> <laughs> radhika you've also been so vocal about me too you've been so vocal about the discrimination of all kinds um has that ever got you not got you parts mm, no i mean at least i don't know maybe people <laughs> just rejected me before they come to me but i don't know but people get people get it's strange because I did something recently, and they thought it was anti-feminist, which was it was not. It had nothing What? to do with that. What did you do? Uh, I shouldn't talk about it openly, but um, it was an anti-feminist. It was just, I mean, love stories. Actually, okay, I'll tell you, love stories. Uh, they some people thought that it's so anti-feminist. It's like, how could you do that? I'm like, yeah. a, I haven't written it. Take my name off. But secondly, it's nothing to do with anti-feminism. It has absolutely. It's a character study. It's about a character. It has right. nothing to do. um you know uh we never speak about why can't a woman be like this no it's 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 and and cliche and and sort of um making it into this uh you know what i'm trying to say um anyway and so couple of people who just won't consider me for something because they were like how could you do it and i'm like whatever what? i mean really but it happens no i mean i don't know i, I don't care really but i hope you're not going to not come back you know i have this increasing feeling my heart is thinking that you're going to come back no and be part of of course i'll come back i'm shooting for shantaram in india and um, i'm trying to write uh, things that i would want to do in india if at all it is half decent to be made and if ever anybody puts money in it uh, to be made uh, which is very difficult um but and if i get good i've 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 just read a good script for a film and i i said yes so uh, if yeah. that if film happens it's a uh, it's exciting so if that happens actually i have quite a few scripts about four five scripts i haven't even read which i have to read this week so um but that's a lot to, yeah but i want it's to also, yeah Sorry? be abroad i also want to be abroad i think yeah be everywhere a little bit I think you can increasingly it's just that of course you'll have to do many more auditions but just the idea that you could meet Mark Ruffalo did you actually ever meet him then no no i didn't meet him i only met Derek Stefan no <laughs> next <laughs> next stop <laughs> yeah but thank you so much for talking to us it's been an thank absolute you. pleasure and uh, i really liked wedding guest i thought it was thank you like all winter bottom movies it is polarizing he never makes anything yeah. it is impossible to for him to make anything that everyone will love but yeah. that's what makes cinema interesting isn't it because yeah, i agree he makes what he wants exactly and doesn't care and that's really what an artist ought to do and i guess that's where you're headed as well so i hope so yeah i hope so at least in that direction and of course acting with dev patel must be a bonus i mean he's a, he's, a, he's such a sweet boy yeah he's he very good but again someone making very interesting choices from yeah and he's writing to a film um and he's also acting in it now yeah yeah 
and to be to be playing david copperfield i mean that's the ultimate color blind casting isn't it yeah, absolutely i was so, i was so happy when i told her like yes, that's like, right. that's where we want to be don't we yeah, yeah? yeah. great yeah. So hopefully we'll get there. Thank you so much, Adhika, for you talking so to us. And take care and see you soon. See Bye. you soon. You Bye. too take care. Bye. Bye.